They start with the hands on the head, they can loosen the oyster first, maybe try and flick them, stun them into submission a bit, put the hands on the head, when I say go, because this is really sophisticated, they have to eat the six oysters as fast as they can, drink the half pint of beer, when they've drunk it, they put the beer glass on the head, and the first one we spot doing that is the winner. There'll be lots of arguments because there always are, but we don't care because, you know, it's the end of a long day. We're not taking any prisoners here. So after the first round, there'll be six rounds. So that'll be six people. We'll have two semi-finals, each with three people. And then we'll have a head-to-head -head at the end. Okay, is that clear for everybody? Excellent. What I need here is some feedback. You're all incredibly quiet. And I'm getting a lot of back ground noise here, frankly. So what I want is for you to really start speaking up. We're going to say, she's a shy and retiring one down here. As you can see, she's also a member of Whitstable's Samba Band, Samba Pelomar. Who are, that's probably. Okay, that's Henry from Whitstable, also known as Nowhere Arizona, because he's always come last. I'd like to call the next one, who is Hans New Zealand. That's impressive. We get a lot of um, international visitors here, and I have to say, the Kiwis and the Aussies tend to be pretty good at oyster eating. They're kind of a surprise sneaking under the fence job. So Hansel, welcome to Whitstable. Is it your first time? And what do you think of the oyster festival? And you know the answer to that. Oh, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely. That's okay. Like a little bit more enthusiasm, but that'll do. That'll do. Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. That was really close because I was just about to say another Kiwi. <laughs> and that would have been really, really bad news. Okay, next up, Pete Bartlett. Pete Bartlett. Yeah. These people are about to undergo what could only be described as a disgusting, horrible experience for your entertainment. So you can't even bother to cheer? Not good enough. That's the sponsor speaking. Okay, Pete, where are you from? Living in Devon now. Living in Devon now, where were you before? I grew up here. Okay, a returning native. Okay, well I think we'll have to give you quite a lot of support for that one. I'm always embarrassed to talk to somebody this famous. Oh, why are you so popular? I don't know, I've got a lot of people with me, what, ten, uh, ten of us came out today. From... And how much have they drunk? Uh, not much. I'm not sure I quite believe that. Are you looking forward to the competition? Good. Slightly, slightly, slightly guilty about that. Anyone in the front row will need to make for every shoulder naked. Tipping position. Glasses. Yep, we are. We're giving them glasses. We're being posh today. To pour your beer into your glass, it does need to be fully poured. No pouring half. In fact, I'll pour it for you because I don't trust anybody. Go! Jamie did particularly well. Um, good messy starts. We like. Uh, go on, Ace. Get into it. Get into it. Ready to cheer for your favourite. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> the boy who doesn't know why he entered but now he's glad he did and he does 
does have more stains. Good for him. Okay, thank you everybody for having coming back. Um, I think just a bit of a, the local competition, I think it is, is quite good, but just a love of oysters. So. I thought it might be I love of winning. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. We'll see. has demolished the competition. Um, you know, I really thought, I really thought Nev had it there, but David got there. David got there. Well, there's two back. back next year. Okay, Bianca, is that a date? You're coming back next year. Two, one, go! <laughs> I'm really, really, really not sure about this, but I am. Okay, I have a feeling I've been had there, but I'm giving it to David. Three, two, one, go.